Oh my god, hey! Welcome back to my Stagey YouTube channel. My name is Mickey Joe, and I am obsessed with all things theatre. And I would first of all like to apologise. There has been no new videos, no Stagey content from me in the past seven days. And that is because I have been so busy at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I saw 37 shows in the six days while I was there. I just got back today, and I am going to start reviewing all of the productions that I saw while I was there. And I'm gonna bring you review vlogs of plays, musicals, one-person shows that I saw while I was in Edinburgh. I saw some amazing theatre. I saw some questionable theatre. I saw some stuff I really didn't like. I saw a lot of very interesting things. I'm going to be telling you all about all of those in videos coming out later this week. For today, what I'm bringing you in this video is just some random footage that I managed to capture while Aaron and I were running around Edinburgh. This video should give you an insight into how busy we were. To put it in perspective, my family have been desperately trying to get in touch with me all week. I managed one phone call with my parents, but for the most part, I have been too busy to reply to work emails and messages because it has been back-to-back -back shows for the past six days. We just about had time to throw food in our faces. So I grabbed what vlog content I could while we were running around. So this is a less theater-heavy video on my channel today. I thought you might be interested to see what it was like at the Edinburgh Fringe, but if you are more interested in the shows and the reviews, stay tuned because all that is coming soon. Also, it rained for the entirety of the first day that we were in Scotland, so I don't have any content from the first day because I didn't want to get lots of rain on my lovely new vlogging camera, but I have from day two onwards. So enjoy this vlog of our time at the Edinburgh Fringe. Oh my god, hey, we are sat under an escalator at the Edinburgh International Conference Centre, is that what we decided it's called? One of the pleasant venues at the Edinburgh Fringe. We are sat under an escalator because we're very early for this next show. Which I think very is because tired. we are very tired. Which I think is because we were very late <laughs> for the first show of the day. We have had our first missed show of the Edinburgh Fringe, which happens. It happens because schedules change and things run over and and I'm here, we're here trying to see so many shows, trying to see 40 shows in six days, so that happens. We were at the venue at exactly when the show was meant to start, but the show had actually started early and was not admitting latecomers. Controversial. You can discuss whose fault that was in the comments, but we are picking ourselves up and we have six more shows today, so lots to look forward to. We're here for Are You Being Murdered? Which is um, a show we don't know much about. We had a very intense day yesterday. Lots of... Mostly the same venue. Yeah, mostly we were just in the same venue. So it got, if it's not already like Groundhog Day of seeing shows over and over again, we were literally in the same venue. Two shows in a row we sat in the same seats. But we needed to change it up and at least sit in a different part of the same venue four times in a row. It was funny though because the person, the attendant for Summer Hall just kept walking around and kept going, Oh, you're in the next one as well. She was surprised to see us even a second time in the queue. I was like, get used to us. We are here all day. But it was a very intense emotional day. I'm ready to laugh today. I'm ready for some yeah, comedy. Yeah, very deep. Very, very deep. Yeah, and we've got some mischief shows today, which is exciting. This, I believe, is a comedy. From what I know of this, it stars... It's the it's the terrible English policeman from LOLO. That's who's doing it. I'm a big LOLO yeah. fan. I'm an old soul, if you didn't know. But this is yes. like a tribute to that age of television. I feel like I'll be able to tell you more about it afterwards. But we're very excited, waiting for that show. So while we were waiting, turns out everyone else had already gone in via a different entrance. So we are glad we have now gone into the theatre. We're in the back row. We've been doing a lot of back rows so far. We're kind of like, we're hanging back. We just like to watch from a distance. We're not here to be immersed, not yet. I will say one thing with Edinburgh Fringe. I was sat next to somebody at one of the shows yesterday that laughed at everything. Mm. Mm. I've learned you get inter more interesting like reactions from people at an Edinburgh Fringe show, I think, because there's less people. But he laughed with a capital L. Yeah, it felt like... I think he was nervous, but he had to laugh because it was a comedy. So it was nervous laughter. Because it was like laughing at moments that weren't funny. It was one of those, it was one of those kind of like flea baggers where it's a comedy, but sometimes they'll say something incredibly shocking and subversive and the tone shifts, and this guy just kept laughing. Just everything was hilarious. It made me like just doubt what I found funny. So I just sat next to him like <laughs> So that's quite funny. It's like, is this actually funny or peer pressure? What's happening here? And also like it was really clear that there was a point that it was getting more like 
not wanting you to laugh, but then he was still laughing and I was like, I'm not joining, sir, I am not joining you here. I'm enjoying this pre-show music. I am amazed whenever we get to a venue actually how many people are here for Fringe. Yes. When you're on the streets, it does not feel like everybody's here for Fringe. I live in constant fear of being the only audience member. I've been, one year I was one of like two or three that was bad, but I do I do panic when I'm the first to a place. I'm like, nobody seems to be here. Yeah. The two people behind me at one of the shows yesterday walking in and I said, oh, look how busy this one is. We were just at a show with four people. And I was like, nah. I feel like the stuff we're going to is established enough. And in a lot of cases, we're going to some very sold out shows. So that was kind of most of our day yesterday. It was pretty well, yeah, very pretty well attended. Yeah, very busy, but small venues. Yes, so like a nice, nice in between. Yeah. Ah, we are now walking from one side of Edinburgh to the other. We've literally gone from as far as the festival goes in one direction, centrally at least, to the other side. We're on our way to Pleasant's Courtyard from another Pleasant's venue. We're going to see Charlie Russell Aims to Please, which is the first of the mischief shows that we're going to see. Hopefully Aaron's behind me. There he is on his phone. Look at him. Look at the little cutie. And this, I think, is the right turn. I'm basing this all off of kind of remembering Edinburgh geography based only on the fringe. It's worth saying if I ever came up here when the fringe wasn't on, I would know where nothing is because I only use fringe things and pop-ups as my landmarks to navigate around Edinburgh. Ah, this is the show we are on our way to see right now. So we just saw Charlie Russell's show at the Pleasant. Picture evidence here. Aaron is wearing a Charlie Russell aims to please sticker, which means something, but I'm not going to spoil the show for you. Not in this vlog, at the very least. We've come over to Bristow Square, where there is the Pleasant Dome, there is the Gilded Balloon behind us, over there, and there is Underbelly as well, uh, because that's where our next show is. I'm feeling like I might want a snack. Do I want yeah, a cider? I'm loving the street food that's all in Edinburgh at the minute. There's amazing things, barnacles and bones, lots of loaded fries that look amazing. There's crepes, love a crepe. There's an interesting little bakery place. I might have a cider. It's weird that I haven't had a cider yet at this point in the Edinburgh Fridge. Well, no, I had one last night, but it's I weird I haven't had one today. And I went with free <laughs> Aaron's drinking. Well, he's staying hydrated. I am staying hydrated. He's making the responsible choice. It can sometimes be very warm in the showrooms. It can. Or freezing. Yeah. Or freezing. Prepare for anything. As I have clearly with this obvious sensible wet weather outfit and the umbrella I had to buy from a charity shop. Can you believe I made a video of like how to prepare for the Edinburgh Fringe and I told people it was going to rain and then I packed nothing? Literally. <laughs> I said in my video, I don't listen to my own advice, and I didn't. So, full circle moment there. We couldn't decide what we wanted, food-wise, or if we're even hungry, or if we're just snacky. So we are now walking down, looking at more places. Look, churros. Improvised Different varieties show. of churros. Improvised reality shows. Various things going on, all sorts of happening. This road is Flyer Central, where people are going to pitch shows at you, left, right, and centre. Devastatingly, I'm completely booked up before I even got here this year for reviewing, so I have no openings whatsoever, because normally I would take the flyers, but right now I feel like, I know I can't come to your show, I am a waste of the paper, spare your resources, save the planet, do not give me a flyer. I just feel bad, and so I need something to say to let people know that quickly, rather than just, I keep telling people I'm full, and I feel very obnoxious, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm an oversubscribed club. I don't know. I'm already coming. I'm coming on Saturday. <laughs> there you go. That was a positive interaction. Love that. Hey, hey. We got the loaded fries. Look at these fries. Look at all the chicken on these fries. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. The fries. I'm very excited about these fries. <laughs> Oh my god, hey! We come to you on another thrilling morning from the Edinburgh Fringe. Yesterday, as you may remember, we were a little bit late in the morning. Today we are early. We are so early. It is not even 10 a.m. I'm still yawning. And we are walking, as we need to do most mornings, over to the Traverse Theatre. We're on our way to go and see Bloody L, a geek musical. Love that. Arguably a bit early, but we will find out if it is, in fact, the vibe, I should not vlog while walking up this hill. If you know Edinburgh at all, it is undulating. 
it's very hilly. It's very, it's very hilly, is what that means. I can see the Edinburgh Castle in front of me. I can see Assembly Hall. After we left you yesterday, we ran over to Leith and then we ran back from Leith because uh, what should have been comfortable gaps to get between shows became just less comfortable through circumstance and my questionable planning. So we ended up getting a bus half of the way back, but we made it to all of our shows. Bless the right shows for being on time and the right shows for being late, uh, because otherwise we would have been 10 minutes late to the Mind Mangler. Okay, we have arrived at the Traverse Theatre, which is behind me. Unlike some of the Edinburgh Fringe venues that only pop up for the Fringe, this is a theatre all year round. They produce real shows of like quality during the Fringe. Love the Traverse. This is the first show we're seeing here because we missed it yesterday. Um, but we've just seen this poster for Happy Meal that we're seeing later this week. All of these star ratings and Fringe First Awards. I have an issue with this. Where are you? There you are. Theatre Scotland, four and a half stars. I mean, half star ratings. It's, it's a whole conversation by itself, but four and a half, if you're gonna get like, I've seen three and a half before, you're like, eh, three and a four, I don't wanna give it a three, it's better than that. Four and a half, four and a half, I don't know what you're saying with a four and a half star rating, except that you are indecisive. I don't know, at me Theatre Scotland, we'll talk it out. We just saw Rob Madge's show, My Son's a Queer, what can do, in the big cow that's behind me over there. See some nice, nice cow in the background. I'm a mess. It destroyed me completely. I've been sobbing. You can see around my eyes. Ah, oh, just beautiful. I will give you a full review, obviously, in the review videos that are coming soon. Um, we are back in the cow for the next show, so we have escaped to come and get food. We've got some very exciting pizza. We saw this pizza place in another fringe venue at the Pleasant Courtyard. We're so excited they're here as well, because I don't think we're back there for any shows. We didn't get a chance. But they do gluten-free bases. Perfect for Aaron, yes. and the pizza names are so cute. I'm having a, a Charizard, like it's a Chorizo Charizard. They have the Mario, the Super Mario, the Shire. All of your, all of your fandoms are catered to. Dalek bread. How great is that? I love that. Here is the aforementioned pizza. Look at that. This is the the Chorizard, or the Charizard. The only thing was the chilies had to go to my well to Mickey. Because, oh my gosh, it was hot. I had all the chilies. But the, the thing that I forgot about was when you transfer the chilies, don't touch that hand because it's going to be really, really hot to touch. Did I lick my hand afterwards? Yes. Yeah, as opposed to me, I just had double chili pizza, which obviously was fine. Okay. I'm not okay. Oh. <laughs> we are back from another day at the Edinburgh Fringe, and a day it has been. Let me tell you, since last we spoke to you, I think we were eating pizza before Unfortunate. We saw Unfortunate, and it was, it was just late enough that our travels back to the Traverse Theatre for our next show became a bit of a jog. But it's we track. made it. Didn't miss any shows today. No, we didn't miss any, actually. Super seemed like we might occasionally, mm -hmm. but we made all of our curtains, and um, we have to talk to you about what happened at Kathy and Stella Solve a Murder, because they were having some technical issues and we had an Edinburgh Fringe show stop that's never happened to me before. And it was so, fun. yeah, so we were there waiting for them to restart the show and they're trying to sort out tech things. I mean, shout out to them for like wanting to do the show properly and not want to just continue with um, a diminished version of the show. We wanted to make sure people could enjoy it and could hear it. And also not cancelling. And also not cancelling because we wouldn't have been able to see it another night. So no. we just really hoped that it was going to come back. Thankfully, we didn't have anything afterwards, but there were a few people who had to leave because you've got other shows coming up. Um, so I think, I don't know how much later it ended up finishing, but while we were all waiting for it to come back, they had uh, the guy who was playing piano for the show had been doing just like lounge music, mood music before the show. And he started doing like a show tunes medley subtly until we got to Downtown by Petula Clark when everyone realized what it was. And we had a whole like roundabout sing along. <laughs> I think mean, it was really fun because then after that it kind of just became the mood and yeah. the vibe to the point that when the cast started to come back on, when the guy came on to announce like we're restarting, the audience members in front of us and on opposite sides all said, can you go back? We're enjoying this. We were part of your money, money, money and we were just enjoying this new the crowd was karaoke it. sing along. It was hilarious. Vibe. I was like, is this, is this even happening? It was a lovely like community moment 
in the roundabout tent at Summer Hall. And shout out to the lovely lady sat next to you. Yes. Um, who took that moment to introduce herself and say that she was coming to see the show on my recommendation from my Edinburgh Fringe video on YouTube. Thank you so much. It was lovely to meet you. So lovely. And very exciting to me that people actually listen to the recommendations yeah. I make in my videos on YouTube. Oh my god, hey, we're having a slower morning this morning at the Edinburgh Fringe. One of our shows has actually been cancelled due to cast indisposition, so we've got a little bit of a gap. So we've come for breakfast, an actual sit-down meal. What even is that? We're at Luden's? Loudon's? It's, it's spelt the same way as Dorothy, uh, as in Miss Hannigan from Annie, so that's the stage reference there. But I need to show you this amazing French toast. Look at this French toast. Oh my gosh. Very excited for this French toast. We have homemade iced tea. Erin's got the same French toast as me, but made as a non-gluten option. Love that. We're loving this place, and I wish we'd had it sooner because it's so near to our hotel. Having a great time. We have seen one show so far today. We just saw Land, a Scottish new musical, and we have gone to get food before another show an hour later in the same venue. What do you get? You got some poutine? Yeah, some pulled pork poutine. Pulled pork poutine. Listen to that alliteration. I have stolen Aaron's jacket because I'm chilly, chilly at the fringe. Who knew for Scotland? And I have a very hot, it's burning my hand, lovely little savoury crepe going on. Who even am I? I'm having a great time. We're walking back towards another show having another day at the Fringe. We have just been to get, like it's dinner time and we have a decent break, so we're gonna get dinner, but we had a decent lunch, so we're not really hungry. So I got donuts. What'd you get? I got ice cream. You got ice cream. The man in the back loves donuts. People, people are rabid with energy here at the Fringe. We are walking to our second to last show of the day. We've had such a varied day it's today. very, very like, Happy and then sad and happy. It's been very alternate. D these different venues, different genres. We started with a nice little folk musical, then we went to like full nonsense parody musical, then like hard hitting like piece of device theatre, and Which then was like a play slash comic, like but then really funny. That had comic elements. Yeah, that's what I'm noticing. That's the overriding theme of this year's Fringe for me. It's the duality of comedy with, with serious topics, with tragedy really, and like the duality of tone. Interesting! I could write something about that, and perhaps I will, but for now, I'm going to eat this donut. Oh, we come to you at the end of another very long Edinburgh Fringe today. I think six shows today? Was it five? No, it was definitely at least six. Land, Runesicle, Blanket Ban, Mischief Movie Night, Lottie Platchett, uh, Bloody Mary Live. And it was like the most very day. I feel like we've seen all the genres today. We've done yeah. a musical that's like serious focus musical. We've done parody musical. We've done like hard well, hitting musical as well. well we... um, choose your own is more of a choose your own. We did a choose your own adventure show. We saw an improv comedy show. We saw um, just like a written uh, like a scripted comedy show. We saw a stand up slash performance art piece. We saw like a hard hitting like still comedic but like meaningful uh, political like activism like devised piece we've seen literally every genre of theatrical entertainment today it's been a great day it's been an yeah. interesting day it's been nice it's it's been interesting as well because we've seen some shows today that i'd say were more london shows in some ways mm. than i think we have on other days like well, it makes sense like blanket ban for me I, you could tell that it was a new diorama show having a connection with them yeah mischief movie night i saw the original version of that in at the Arts Theatre mm -hmm. years ago. So I was like, oh, very kind of London are very used to that concept, same with like Showstoppers. Yeah. Um, but then it was really cool to kind of see some shows that seemed influenced from things as well. So it was, it's a really nice balance. Yeah. Another interesting day, and we are going to crash out, and I'm going to, oh, what's my chocolate bar of the night? So I've been eating a different chocolate bar every night from my six pack of chocolate. You had two yesterday, though. Oh, I did have two yesterday. So maybe tonight I just won't have one. You've got... I got the munchies, so I ate my munchies. You've got a Kit Kat or a Yorkie. <gasps> oh, you had the donuts. We showed them earlier, but how were the donuts? The donuts were great. I enjoyed the donuts very much. They were kind of... They were like like a warm, like very cinnamony donut. It just left my mouth a bit dry, so I then immediately had a cider at the next venue where I bumped into a bunch of people who watch my channel, which I thought might happen because it was the play with Lauren Lopez in from Starkers. So I thought if I'm meeting any YouTube fans, this is the place where it's going to be. But also venue staff member, um, the lovely uh, Usher, who was ticketing at Assembly Roxy, 
um, sort of paused after checking our tickets. I thought something was wrong with the booking, but she was just like, is it weird? I can't remember what she even said, like, is it weird? Or do I know that like, YouTube? And she was like, yes. And I was like, yes. It's very sweet. Yes. We're going to crash out and we will see you for more Edinburgh Fringe tomorrow. Bye. Bye. It's a new day at the Edinburgh Fringe. We've already seen a show. We saw Happy Meal at the Traverse. And today we're having a very different day because we have just so much time yes. between shows. I don't know how I've planned such different schedules, but we're so chill today. We have like upwards of an hour between shows. So between our first and second show, we just went to go and get some brunch from a place called Hula. Yeah, it was so good. Hula Juice Cafe in Edinburgh, which was amazing. Had lots of non-gluten containing options. I had pancakes, you had a nice porridge bowl. And then we shared a chorizo. For the show. We, we shared a chorizo. Ash, had a lovely time. We are now going to see another play in Underbelly Cowgate, which is this lovely venue that's just appeared in front of us. So I haven't shown you too many venues, but we're under this bridge here so a lot of old town in Edinburgh is kind of on a split level and we're in the lower part right now kind of underneath the Royal Mile if you look right up there there are people up there but we're down in Cowgate where there is underbelly Cowgate and I'm going to walk into the venue and show you what it looks like it's down here Ooh, ah this is underbelly Cowgate um, and there's another bit of it over here as well and there's a load of different spaces it's a bit like the vaults in London where it's a lot of like exposed brick and under arches here we have another entrance underbelly lots of cow theming um, there's bars here as well and we're gonna go and see a play so we have crossed over that's bright that's too bright that way let's go over here <laughs> is that better can you see us that's the question we have crossed over from old town into new town this is our first thing really in new town and we're on george street for the assembly rooms i have no idea what we're actually seeing he has no idea i don't like to give him this kind of information it's not important it's Which on a need to know basis has been a bad idea at certain moments i think everything's gone fine i think everything's gone fine but we're in this cute little area on George Street. This is the Assembly Rooms. This is the one, if you watched my previous Fringe video, that I warned you about. Assembly George Square, Assembly George Street. Opposite sides of town. I've made that mistake before, but this time I was prepared, I was ready, and there's this cute little area here. We've got bars, all of the Fringe venues. You can like, some of them have food, but all of them have alcohol and drinks. There's a little, this behind me is a beach hut filled with vodka, which in many ways reminds me of childhood. And we're about to go and watch a political play interesting thought-provoking or perhaps not we'll find out i don't know what we're counting to oh five it's over we're counting here on the mound it's really bizarre it's free sorry <laughs> We're here on the mound where there are some TikTok sponsored performances. There's an Edinburgh gin bar over there. There's a little fringe photo op thing. Behind us is a giant iron brew. That's how you know we're in Scotland. Um, just generally doing some sightseeing. It's a lovely view from here. We can see there's New Town behind us, there's Old Town in front of us, and we're crossing back from New to Old. We're heading up to the Royal Mile next to another venue we haven't been to yet, which is in uh, Greenside at Riddler's Court for the next show. We've just seen like half hitting political drama talking about like Brexit and like based on real events featuring a lot of real people yeah and next we are seeing Linus Karp's How to Live a Jellical Life which I've always seen things about because it was in London quite a lot so I'm quite I, excited to finally watch it I as a Closet Cats fan I already know I'm very excited for this one I have a very hard time envisaging a future where I don't have a lot to enjoy about this but like how different from one show to the next this is what I love about Edinburgh we did bump into Linus flowering the other day on the Royal Mile and Linus is very excited for us to be coming to see the show as well so we're gonna head over now we may get a snack yes. we've not ruled that out we may see what this woman is counting about there's all to play for <laughs> It is dark. Oh, it's too dark outside. It is dark. We are just leaving Tynecastle Park, which is a football stadium in Edinburgh, because we've just watched a musical in a football stadium yes. about women's football. So cool. Site specific, very exciting, local, authentic. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed. But again, you will find out all about it in the review vlog that will be coming up after this one. But just thought we would show you how novel, how exciting football stadium. Although I'm very cold. We are slightly cold. Yes, I'm still wearing dungaree shorts. Terrible plan. It's a twister. We are coming to you this morning from 
windy Edinburgh. We are on our way to the Traverse Theatre for the last time. Today is our last day of Edinburgh Fringe shows. My face looks so puffy. We're very sleepy this morning because um, we finished our day of theatre yesterday at like half one. Mm -hmm. Half one very late. in the morning. We went to a late night cabaret variety show hosted by Ruben K called The K-Hole. Um, which meant we'd had like more than a... Oh. She's involved. We'd had more than a 12 hour day of theatre going because we started at 10.15 and we finished at half one. So I will let you do the maths on that one. But we are on our way to the Traverse Theatre for some more plays today. And hopefully it's not going to rain on us. It's definitely trying, but we are, we are braving it. So we have finished our morning of plays at the Traverse Theatre. They had a little uh, bookshop up top featuring a bunch of the scripts of shows from this year's Edinburgh Fringe. So I bought a bunch of the play scripts of shows I have been particularly enjoying, which was fun and cost me an awful lot of money because I've enjoyed a lot of plays and I've seen a lot of plays. We are now back in the busy centre of the Fringe in Bristow Place and um, I thought someone just said my name, maybe they did, maybe I kept walking, who knows. Um, there are so many people here today because it's now actually the weekend, so it is very, very busy. Uh, we have a little bit of a gap. We've had a morning of like, not always serious, but like plays, like artsy plays. And now we have uh, some slightly sillier musicals and drag and cabaret for our last evening at the Fringe. We're finishing with a funny camp bang. And in the little time window that we have in between, we are going to get the snacks of champions, ice cream and cider. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh gosh, where do we go? It's it's so busy. We're queuing for ice cream. I don't know what I'm having. The strawberry looks really good, but I am like allergic, whatever. I normally, I normally go for a, a cup, but I may I may today indulge in a waffle cone. It says 60p for flake or fudge. What if I want flake and fudge? But I never see the option for like a cup. And I kind of want fudge and flake. When you ask. Let's just let's just be those really annoying needy customers when we get to the front. It's nearly our time. I've still not decided my flavour. This is crunch time. Piedmont hazelnut. No, that is in here. Is that a type of hazelnut? I don't know. Someone, will, someone who knows about hazelnuts can tell us in the comment section. I don't know. I do like the Oreo one. Ferrero Rocher as well. I'm intrigued by the cherry situation. And the vanilla. I do like a vanilla. It's a bit basic, but then. So am I. There's a rhubarb crumble as well. Does it look like a rhubarb crumble? Like I believe them. I'm not. I'm not accusing them of, of ice cream lies. Could I get a medium cone with Oreo? With can I have fl flake and fudge? Yes. Yes. Let's do that then. Cool. And you would like? Can I have a medium cone with flake and fudge as well? Uh, what, what ice cream are you, are you doing on your oh, oh, okay, then I've, I've just given you too much information. That's everything, thank you so much. We have our ice creams. I have a double Oreo. Oh god, it's already dripping. Mm. Mm. Double Oreo cone with flake and fudge. Now, we both assumed that meant hot fudge with a flake on top. It did not. It is a finger of fudge. Just enough to give the kids a treat. Um, so I now get more why it's an either or situation. But we have we have ice creams. Mm -hmm. Woo! Now we're gonna go see some French. Yeah. Ah. We have just seen our last show of the Edinburgh Fringe. We're in the Pleasant Courtyard, it's all over. We have done six days of intense back-to-back theatre going, and we are getting our favourite food of the Fringe, these lovely pizzas that we had earlier in the week. I've got one last cider, and we're going to have this here on the floor without the dignity of a beanbag in the Pleasant Courtyard. There is a hubbub around us of more exciting people who are just beginning their fringe evenings and we're going to eat this pizza and then go immediately to bed. 
So that was my week at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival 2022. Like I said, stay tuned on my channel for the review content that is coming very soon. If you want to read my mini review roundups, those are already up at my blog, mickeyjoetheatre.co.uk, and on my Twitter, which is also at Mickey Joe Theatre. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my stage YouTube channel for plenty more content coming very soon about all your favourite shows. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey day. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>